Quite often we have a situation where one of our small business customers is maybe a trade services business or they're a training company and they have contractors coming in and they don't want to expose all of their company information to the contractors. A group suggested for customers as well as internal staff. I have a folder with documents that I'd like to share with all of them. I would say the short answer to that is yes. You can absolutely use groups for external users. I would try not to mix internal and external users in certain groups. I'd be very clear when a group is for external users and you can adjust the permissions for that accordingly. But the most appropriate group that you might create for someone who's outside your business, maybe using a Gmail account or another non-related Google Workspace account would be contractors to your business. So quite often we have a situation where one of our small business customers is maybe a trade services business or they're a training company and they have contractors coming in and they don't want to expose all of their company information to the contractors. And so in that case, you can set up a contractor's group inside your admin panel and add any of the email addresses that you need to into that contractors group. And then inside that contractors group, you just share access to the group for anything that they need to access, whether that's a shared drive, a calendar, maybe even a calendar invitation. You can use groups for all of that. And I'll show you an example of what that actually looks like. So here inside my calendar, you can see here that I've got a number of events and these are my mentoring calls. Now, each person who's in these calls is actually outside my business because they're my mentees in my program. And you can see here that I have a group. I'm not gonna expand that group because I don't want to expose anyone's personal information by doing that. But I have the 21 members there that are currently active inside the mentorship inside that group. And that one group basically has a whole bunch of external email addresses. Now. One of the great things about using groups for calendar events is that anytime you invite a group to a calendar event and it's a recurring event, if somebody new joins the group, they'll get an invitation to any recurring events that are happening and any future events that are happening. So you only need to set up the recurring event once you invite the group and then anyone new that you add to the group is gonna automatically get all of the invitations that they need to any standing meetings that you have that are repeating. Very, very, very cool feature. It also means that you don't have to bother with manually adding people to groups one by one, manually adding people to events one by one or to file sharing one by one or to the Google site one by one. You just add them to the group once and then they get access to everything. So groups are a big yes from me on using them to share with anyone external to your company. I'd love to know in the comments, let me know what you've used groups for. If you've used it for like sporting teams, if you've used it for you know sharing with contractors or someone that you're training. And if there's any more questions on groups, I'll be happy to take them. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.